the end of January and the inauguration of February, let's round up the news from the past Unum on today's episode of the Dark Crystal Conjunction. Well, howdy y'all and welcome to the Dark Crystal Conjunction, your YouTube dream space to nerd out about all things the Dark Crystal. Let's dive right into this past month's news. The Dark Crystal Age Resistance Tactics launches tomorrow, February 4th, 2020, and will be available for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac via Steam. It is already available for pre-order for $19.99 US dollars, that is. The game creators have been posting a plenty and are even running a contest for US folks with the grand prize being a custom skin Nintendo Switch and a Dark Crystal Age Resistance Tactics game code. 14 runner-ups will get that game code as well, plus one random Age of Resistance Funko item. As a side note, they did release the video game soundtrack in full on YouTube. That is what is playing in the background of this video, but like all things I talk about in this video, I will also link it in the description as well. Anyways, if I'm able to figure out how, then I'd really love to live stream this game while I'm playing it for the first couple times, but I'm still trying to figure all that out and we'll let y'all know if I can figure it out in my spare time, but stay tuned. February 8th, 2020 will be the first official Dark Crystal Con called The Great Con Junction and will be held at L Street Film Studios. The list of guests and activities keeps growing and growing. I know I said that last month, but it really does look like it's going to be an incredible fan experience. The specific guest list that keeps growing that I'm showing up here now includes people who worked on and performed and were behind the scenes on Age of Resistance and even the original film that started it all. If you're going, then please, 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 please post plenty of pics and videos to social media for those who are stuck inside their parlings homes to enjoy as well. Thanks. You can find more information about The Great Conjunction and get tickets at thegreatconjunction.com. What a Workshop is still kicking out amazing Dark Crystal sculpts. They apparently finished sculpts for Irva the Archer and Skekmal the Hunter, and they took a vote as to who they would paint first, which is part of the process to get this in production. The Irva won, but they did let us know that the Hunter will be next in a few months. This news also came with a sneak peek of Deet, and look at that incredible detail on the wings. And I love that they have the reference photos in the background, so you know they were working hard. Last, if you follow this channel on social media in any way, then you saw that I posted about one pic that they sent out featuring Brea with lore. Well, in the past they sent out pics like that, it's usually clues or hints of upcoming collectibles that they're going to have. For this pic, however, that was not the case. In a private message to them, they did confirm, quote, Lore is on our to-do list, but no work has begun on him yet. We'd love to do him and sculpted Brea with forward compatibility in mind. We have a number of other statues already in the works that are our focus at the moment. If they continue to do well, then it is my sincere hope that lore will get made too. It all depends on continued interest from collectors." End quote. In the comics world, we got the first part of the new four-issue arc featuring Hup. It started with issue number five of the Age of Resistance comic series and released January 15th, 2020. Though it features a different artist and writer from the first four issues, it lives up to the standard this comic has given us so far. In this series, we're learning what set Hup off on his adventure to be a paladin in the first place. I won't give away any spoilers, but just say that I'm so far enjoying this comic very much and look forward to issue number 6, the second issue of this arc which will be dropping February 26, 2020. And as you can see up on the screen, they've already shown us covers all the way up through issue 8 and variant covers as well. Back in September 2019 news video, I brought up the Creatures of the Land of Thra character design for the Dark Crystal Age Resistance exhibit that it would be running September 11th, 2019 through February 23rd, 2020 at the Museum of Moving Images in New York. Anyways, at that location, an upcoming panel discussion will be coming up this month, but then more news came out just yesterday about that as well from the official Dark Crystal Facebook. They wrote, quote, Dark Crystal fans, don't miss this live event with special guests from the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, moderated by Cheryl Henson, Javier Grillo Marx, Alice Danielle, and Warwick Brownlow Pike. We'll take you behind the scenes of this hit series. Momi, February 7th, 5 to 6.45 p.m. Immediately following, guest 18 plus can stay for an amazing LARP experience as Momi brings the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance to life with character arcs from the series, led by game designer Sharag Biswaz and theatrically trained visual artist Nick O'Leary. Momi, February 7th, 7 p.m. End quote. LARPing was something I did as a 
ton as a teenager, and I'm very curious to know what it will be like to have this in a dark crystal setting, and what exactly they mean, and if they're going to be using any of those puppets or anything from the museum there. Uh, anyways, the site did give us a little more detail. It said, quote, Join us for a live roleplay game to explore the fantastical and sometimes terrifying stories of the planet Thra. Led by the game designer and experimental theater artist, visitors over 18 are welcome to participate in this live enactment of character arcs from the hit Netflix series The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. End quote. Again, I would love to see pics and vids if anyone is attending that. Well, lastly, in months past, we saw the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance soundtrack get a CD release. Last month, they announced that they would be releasing it on vinyl as well as of February 7th, 2020. However, if you pre-ordered it already, they will just ship it to you instantly, and several folks I've heard of from Facebook have already gotten theirs, so mine should be in my hands very soon, and you can be sure to find a review that I'll be doing on that when it gets it. Well, I think that catches us up on most of the news. I look forward to what we learn in the coming Unum, but did I miss anything? Dream Edge it below, or just let me know what you're excited about, and let's together continue to nerd out about all things The Dark Crystal. So until next time, keep exploring Thra. Thra.